So we're here today to witness Lexi's first ever haircut. How you feeling, Lex? <laughs> Look it, we're gonna cut your doll's hair. Oh, scissors, he's got scissors in his hand. Hey, Ace. Okay, we'll just cut the bottom a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. whoa. Vasectomy, ready? Oh. Set, go. Okay, just the top, right here. Just. Don't even say it, babe. Great job. You see how? You see how perfectly straight that is now? No. We're all done. Let me brush this out a little bit. Wow, look at how pretty that looks, Lex. Okay, come here, stop. <laughs> Don't kick me. You're gonna fall. Lex. Oh, Lex, don't want to Oh, come on. Well, wasn't exactly the outcome that we had hoped for. The Oscar goes to Lexi. Follow me, because we're going to go shoot Josh's car today. It's going to be insane. Let's go. Oh, how's it look, Mikey? Oh, man. She's a beaut. Yes. What it was missing. It was missing the white background. It's beautiful, man. Oh, my god. So today we're getting this professionally shot by one of the top photographers in the automobile business. This is Ted. Ted, say hello. In a row. Hi. <laughs> Ted, what's what's your full name? Because when we put this on YouTube, nobody knows my real name. Oh, really? Ted Seven? Is that your Instagram? Yeah. yeah. No one knows your real name. I like that. By the way, no one should know my real name. Yeah, yeah. Ted Seven. That's Josh. It. Josh Soul. Josh. <laughs> We'll put up his Instagram handle if you want to check him out. Uh, and I'm having him shoot both cars today that I have here. It's the uh, Ferrari Dino and then the 78 Smokey and the Bandit Pontiac Trans Am. A lot of work went into this. This wasn't just uh, cutting a check and buying this. this there's a whole s story behind this. You know, I sold the most expensive teardown in Bel Air at the time, and it was $25 million for a teardown wow. right behind the Bel Air Hotel. And while we were on the property doing inspections, I lifted the old like rickety garage, like straight out of what you would see on TV. And in the corner of this garage was this, but red. So I called up the trust. I said, what are you selling that Ferrari for? I said, I want to take it out of my commission. Uh, so I'm going to use my commission money to buy that Ferrari. And I oh. did. They started to take the car apart and there was a little chip on it and they saw this color. And so we actually researched back, you know, all these Ferraris have, they have, lots of documented history. Right. So it was one owner, he had painted it red over the blue, which we didn't know, 30 years ago. So here, check this out. We got the, uh, the engine over here, you got the original numbers. Oh, that is cool right there. Oh yeah, for sure. And it's still got the rust on it too. Yeah, and like, you I know. I love that they kept that It's they... not always that you want everything that's so perfectly shiny, uh, you want originality on it. That is so cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, this is awesome. So have you, have you like- Driven the, it? Yeah, on the highway, like gone. Listen, oh at God, the end man. of the day, if you can't enjoy it, then why get it? So check this out. Oh, sick. Man. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's perfection. Yeah. Perfection. It's all brought back, you see that? You see, Mikey, what you just did there, you put your fingerprints on the car. You're saying, so no, 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 don't, don't, just, 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 just leave it, just leave it. That is incredible. Yeah, two years. Two years. And too much money. You can't have a weak stomach when you're restoring a Ferrari. <laughs> because every month you're cutting a check to the, the people restoring the car for, I mean, 30 grand a month. And you're like, oh my God. And it adds up and it's hundreds, thousands. Think about a house as an investment. And right. you know, an investment first, and then an emotional buy a second. Just like art, just like diamonds, just right. like classic cars. But so like this, for instance, this might be worth something now, let's call it 700,000 now, but 10 years, this could be worth 2 million. You gonna hold on to it or you think you're gonna sell it? Cause it looks, it's done, right? Like it's, it's, oh, it's ready done. to go. Oh yeah, no, it's done. Uh, hmm. 
Mikey, what do I always say? Everything for sale. Everything <laughs> is for sale. Uh, except for my wife and my kids. <laughs> Come on, we'll roll it a Trans Am. Yeah. And then he'll finish that and we'll roll that one in. Let's do cool. it. Let's All do right. it. Come on. All right, so we're going to go check out the uh, Pontiac Trans Am. How many cars have you had? As far as like cool classics, 1964 Shelby Cobra, uh, 1978 Camaro, a 1979 Camaro, a 1960 something Porsche Spider. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was that was like yeah. 10 years yeah. ago. You know, like an M6 back in the day. Yeah. I've had seven Rolls Royces, white on white, black on black, black with white interior, blue with brown interior, blue with Hermes orange interior. Uh, and then a multiple different like black and white interior. So a lot of them, Ghost, Dawns. I remember the Ghost. The Ghost was cool. Yeah. Um, are you ready to check this out? Let's do it. All right, here, come here. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> here she is, Pontiac Trans Am 1978. What's cool about this, this is a resto mod. This is a brand new car from 1978. New engine, new everything new interior, but all made to look old. And it actually is as close of a replica to uh, Burt Reynolds smoking in the Bandit car as you'll probably ever see. All right, well, let's go check out, uh, let's go back in. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up in a little bit. Speaking of cars, who gave you your first car? Actually, you did. You gave me a Jeep Cherokee. I loved that thing, man. Matt and I had, you know, driven it and got to a point where we didn't need it anymore. And we gotta take care of our little brother. Yeah. And do you, do you still have that car or no? No, I no. don't have it anymore. No, he sold that. Yeah. He sold that, kept all the profits. Uh, <laughs> uh, wait, let me get this straight. We uh, gave you the car. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hold on, look at this, look at that. What's this? <laughs> oh my God, hold on, hold on. I just realized we gave Mikey a car. What's this though? He's trying to get your attention away from this. I gave Mikey a look car and he sold hey, it. Look at this. Money. He Everybody. sold it and kept the commission. Oh, he kept, kept the entire oh, value of the car. Guys. That dude owes me 20 grand. I just realized it. Thank you, you two. This is, to me, one of the sexiest muscle cars ever made. Uh, so many cool things about it from the T-top uh, that is, you know, you can basically make it into a convertible in about 37 seconds, which is from back then very easy to do, um, to the wheels, to the 6.6 the, the .6 liter engine, to the 500 horsepower. Everything about this uh, is just screams aggressive. I saw this on the internet, bought it sight unseen out of Chicago. I called my boy Carl Stomberg, my car guy out of Texas. Uh, he's got a crazy collection of cars, but I always run everything by him. Uh, check him out. I was like, Carl, what do you know about this? And he goes, oh, the bandit. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I never saw Smokey and the Bandit before I owned the Smokey and the Bandit car. Right. Have you ever seen it? No. You see, I, I'm 41, you're 35. Oh, it was, it, it, so 78. I wasn't even born yet. I was yeah. born the next year in 79. So here it is, Smokey and the Bandit. I bought it sight unseen, it showed up, and you never know, because I bought a, a, a car once sight unseen, and it was a disaster. So this is where you put the gas, actually. So funny enough, this is straight out of the movie. Here we go. Whoa, you see that? It's, mag oh, wow. it's magnetic. Well, it's the, it's, yeah, it's the CD, the, the, what you speak in the- uh, CB radio? CB radio, but there is none in this car. And this car, I would let Mikey borrow, for sure. But, but like earlier, if you sell this car, you have to pay me the money of what it was. Know. <laughs> Make sure to like, <laughs> subscribe, comment, uh, and we'll see you guys. We out of here. Later, YouTube. Yeah.